Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about this new etude by Cornelius. So notice that the whole piece, uh, both hand is mostly playing the same notes but one octave apart. So the starting chord is D major. So we have D, F sharp, and A. Remember our whole whole half whole pattern. So D going a whole step up is one note is E, right? E going another whole step up is. F sharp, F sharp going a half step up is G, G going a whole step up is A. So using that, you can find any major chords, okay? And then we're using one, three, and five of that pattern. So we have D, F sharp, A. So make sure you find your beginning pattern. And so I'm going to play both hands gently into the key. And after that, I want you to notice that the next measure, the only note that change is the top note. It goes from A to A sharp. Okay, so play a little bit of D, F sharp, and A sharp. And after that, it moves up even higher to another half note. Yeah, so it's D, F sharp, and B. I want you to mark your score, okay? So this is the first three measures. So I'm going to now roll the hands, and then, so it's coming out like this. So before you wrote it, that's why I wanted you to block the chords so you can see that's the first measure position and then moving up by a half step on the top notes. That's the second measure and then moving up even higher to another half note to B. That's the first three measure. So the bottom note and the middle note, it didn't change. It stays the same with D and F sharp. Okay, so this is the first three measure again. After that, we move on to the fourth measure. Noticing that now the starting note is moving from D to E. Okay, and this time we have E, G, and B. I think we haven't talked about this before, but this is a minor chord. Notice the difference between major and minor. If it were this, it would have been a major, but now it's actually on all the white keys. It sounded a little bit uh, more blue for minor, so... So that's our fourth measure and then on the fifth measure it actually repeats one more time yeah and then notice the pattern also follows the beginning now we're moving on to the sixth measure and then the top note top notes is going to move up from B to C again this bottom two notes doesn't change and then the top note continue to move up to C sharp so that's that four measure, starting from the fourth measure. Here is bass note moved to E, and the middle note moved up to G, and the top note is going to B. So always make sure you have the right beginning notes. So here we go. One more time. Move up to C. Move up to C sharp. So that's our, um, from the fourth measure um, to the seventh. And now notice we have one from D and then to E. And the next one is actually F sharp. So here we have F sharp minor. So if uh, you we're thinking, why is there no sharp signs on the score? That's because at the very beginning of the score, next to the treble clef and the bass clef, there's already our key signature F sharp and C sharp. So that carries through our whole piece. So make sure you mark that F sharp and C sharp, starting from the eighth measure. I like to think of it as um, the outer two notes are black keys and it's covered um, with A in the middle, this white key, so it's black, 
white, black. That's our pattern, okay? And it also repeats one more time. And then it started to move our top note again. And then one more um, time that it moved the whole chord to G major. So please mark on measure 11. We are arriving at our G major chord, G, B, C. Why is this G major? Remember our whole, whole, half, whole. That's our G major fussing of pattern. So, and then stop here briefly. And then the next chord is one of the two places, the only two places in this piece that left hand and right hand is playing a different chord. So please circle measure um, 12. So this time the top two notes stays the same, D and E. And then the bottom note for left hand is G sharp, D and E. And right hand is B. D, E, okay, and then so the next chord, so it goes to go back to the left hand and right hand is the same. So A, D, F sharp, and then right hand copies, and then it goes to have one more where the bottom note is still A. So A, C sharp, E. Can you guys guess whether it's major or minor? So close your eyes and listen to it. So it's whole step up, whole step up, half step up, and then whole step. That's A major. So And then second to the last measure, that's the other measure that is right hand and left hand being different. So we go back to our left hand, go back to our D major chorus beginning, D, F sharp, A, and then our right hand is going to do F sharp, A, D, and then back to this D. Okay, did you catch that? So it's, and then right hand, F sharp, A, D, and then back to this low D. Okay, so that's the whole piece and make sure you study in chunks and then after you figure out each three or four measures and then you connect them together. So this is um, the etudes by Cornelius and then from the beginning, okay? And then it suggested that we use pedal. So if you do have a pedal at home, so practice pressing it down for two beats and then release it up and then press it down again so that we have a clean uh, but also echoey feel to it. Um, otherwise, you can also try doing hand legato, which is releasing the previous note while you pressing down the next note. So it also gives a very legato continuous feel to it. So here is the whole piece. Enjoy.